At the Gate River Run this morning, we caught up with runners who weren't necessarily among those first crossing the finish line, but who were among the first to start the race. Leading today's 15K was a dedicated group of athletes with the group Ainsley's Angels. Our Shelby Danielson shares their story tonight. It was a sea of runners in downtown Jacksonville Saturday morning and helping to lead the way were the teams from Ainsley's Angels of America. They were brave enough to say they wanted to do a 15K today, so we thought we could step up and run a 15K today. Brian Yates is a part of this group of avid runners. The first 5K was easy, the second 5K wasn't so much, and then obviously there's that bridge. They kept reminding us we needed to just get over it, but uh, yeah, it was easier said than done. They volunteered to run with athletes who are in wheelchairs. Evie and Laura that ran along with us today too. We had a great time, it was an awesome day. Team Ambassador Kim Hetrick says this was the first time their teams were able to start in the disabled athlete category. She says that means they got a head start, making it safer and more enjoyable for them. Oh gosh, I got goosebumps watching them start. It was months in the making, you know, we did some training runs. It's just, we're all about inclusion, just making sure that everyone can participate in endurance events, no matter what your ability is. From the volunteers to the advanced runners in the race, she says everyone makes sure their teams have a positive experience. But the inspiration and encouragement goes both ways. They gave us more than we've given them. Really, I, I don't know any other way to put that. Yeah. If you'd like to volunteer to be a guardian angel for Ainsley's Angels, head to our website to find the link and sign up. For First Coast News, I'm Shelby Danielson on your side.